I'm going to show you how to set up the Revel V Plus 5G step by step. First thing is turn on the phone and then go ahead and choose your language. I'm going to go with uh, English in the US here. I'm going to tap on start. Connect to mobile network. Now they're asking us to insert a SIM, SIM card in right now. However, you don't have to put that in there right now. I'm not going to put it in throughout this video, but I'm going to make another video after I set it up. I'll make another video where you can see the link below on how to install the uh, SIM card properly. Okay, so for me, I'm just going to go ahead and skip this for now. Connect to my Wi-Fi. And I'm going to go ahead and connect now so I can go ahead and get all the uh, latest updates. Put in my password. After you put in your password, tap on connect. Obtaining IP address. And now it says connected. Okay, so it says uh, there's an update. Update phone. I'm going to tap on next down here. Installing system update. All right, so I get a message here that says battery too low or in battery saving mode. So my battery is too low. So let me go ahead and charge this up so I can finish installing the system update. Okay, finally, so that um, installation, the system update literally, literally took like five minutes. Anyway, we're here now, copy apps and data. You can choose to transfer your apps, photos, contacts, Google account, and more. If you wanna go ahead and do that, you go ahead and simply tap on next. For me, I'm going to do a fresh clean install in here. I'm going to click on don't copy right there. Google sign in is asking you need to sign into your Google or basically your Gmail account. You can do that now or you can do it later. For me, I'm just going to do it later. So I'll tap on skip for now. Skip right here as well. Google services, uh, use location, allow scanning, send, use, send usage and diagnostic data. These are all optional, okay? You can have these checked or not checked. It really doesn't matter. For me, I'll just go ahead and leave them all checked. It's fine. And I'll go ahead and tap on accept down here. Asking us to do a four-digit PIN password screen lock. I would recommend you doing this. Don't skip this. You should go ahead and put at least put a four-digit PIN in here. So go ahead and choose your four digits. After you do that, tap on next. It's going to ask you to re-enter that same PIN password. And it just re-entered. Now I'll tap on confirm. Now you can also set a fingerprint password if you wish. Uh, you can do it now or you can do it later. For me, I'm just going to go ahead and do it later. I'll tap on skip for that. Tap on OK. Getting your phone ready. Device name. Yep, that's good. Click on OK. And voila. You guys are in business. Pretty simple. Any questions or issues, just comment below. All right? Good luck. Bye.